how are you today? Well, I wanted to explain to you about what's going on at the library. Since June 1st, there has been a story time, but not like the one you have been thinking it be. No, this story is Imagine Your Story. That's the name of our summer reading program. The Imagine Your Story theme, you could be anything. You just imagine what you would like to do. Maybe you'd like to be a fireman. Maybe you'd like to maybe come to the library and, and work as a page at the library. Yeah, we have people that work here. They're young people. I think you have to be in high school. But let's go back to what's going on as far as our summer reading program. As you can see, we have the queen and her prince and they are here. They were in the lobby, but they're now here in this room with us because I wanted to make sure you understood that we were decorating with princes and unicorns and with even, I think that I saw, pirates. Yes! These are all here at the library celebrating Imagine Your Story. And you sign up online, and I'd really love for you to participate this year. There's great prizes. You're invited to go online and look at the prizes, or come to the building and look at all the display cases. Don't forget there's two towers that are new. It's up near the front desk. And at each side of the tower are glass shelving and glass doors. And you can see the different prizes in there too. Anyway, now, what if you wanted to grow up to drive a boat? This book that we're going to read today has to do with boats. Yeah. Boats will float. You open it up, and we're looking for the title page. There it is. It says, Andrea Warmflush Rosenbaum wrote this book, and Brett Curzon has done all the illustrations. That means he's the artist for the pictures. Boats are bobbing in the bay, waiting to be on their way. Look at all the different ones. Here's one that has pontoons underneath. And so it's a houseboat. And here's one that's just a fishing boat. And it looks like he has crab cages. And this one is a tugboat. Oh look, there's a little boy and a dog and they're looking at the seal that's out in the water. Oh, we're longing for the reaching tide and needles to explore and glide. Early morning rise and shine, fishing boats with nets and line underneath a cloudless sky and dragon boats to go flying by. Look, they're having races. I see somebody beating on the drum. You have to row your oar. And they all move at the same time, but one's a little faster. There's a fishing boat with a net. Motors purring, Captain calling, salty breezes, seagulls squalling. And boats will float into the ocean, rise and fall in liquid motion. Sunlight sizzles hot and bright and speedboat launch human kite. Wow, look at him. Oh no, it's Grandma. Grandma's holding on to the kite and the speedboat's pulling her. A speedboat launches human kite. That's Grandma. And soaring up and sailing free, crystal sprays and aqua sea. I see a passenger ocean liner. That is one of the biggest ships. Roller coasting high and low. Boats will float through gales and blow. Gales are very big storm um, winds. Fire boats and tugs that lug. Oopa, oopa, chugga, 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 chugga. And Scrolls and schooners and little tankers too. A list of chores for busy crews. There's even a fire boat. Yuck, 
you can catch a fire in a boat. Would you have thought that? Well, that's why they have these firemen. And if your boat catches on fire, then they'll come out and they put the hose to it and put the fire out. Coast Guard, five freighter ships that cruise and offer front row ocean views leaving foamy, frothy trails and passing pods of spouting whales. Whoa, look at that. If you're out in the ocean with the deep, deep ocean where a boat like this cruises by, you can see all these natural things that live in the ocean. Yeah, just like what you're seeing in the picture. Research vessels underway. Study sea life day by day. Divers visit ancient caves, coral reef low. That's where the waves, there are no waves down here. You're just down under the water and you're looking in the reef. And the reef is sometimes made out of coral. And then there are certain types of animals that live there, like clams, uh, little seahorses. There's, there's cool things. Far below a submarine working hard to stay unseen, travels at a steady pace, and housing sailors short on space. Oh, I see one of the sailors upside down. He must be in the hammock inside. They don't have berths or bunks. They have things that they sway back and forth in, called hammocks. And there are little sea creatures in shells they have little tiny legs coming out of them. I see a really cool octopus. He's red and white. Right there, see him? Oh, wow, look at the sails. These are, are called masks, and they have them on bigger boats that you have races with, and all of these different letters spell out the name of that boat. So that's really cool too, you can look here. So this would be a fun book that has a little mystery to it. White caps clapping, flags that flap, boats will float and never nap. And the trawlers crawling near a bridge steers around a rocky ridge. And red brick lighthouses, they're standing tall, welcomes the boats, big and small. Soft warm breezes lull and lift, and skippy, skippy, skipjack sails as currents drift, and sunset melts into the ocean blue, and moon comes in a curved canoe. He's got a shape like a canoe would be shaped. That's why they call it a curved canoe. Houseboats float and gently rocks and tidies up tightly to the docks and anchors down upon the sound as milky moonlight skips around. Look, they're getting ready for bed. A sandy bottom, sudsy tub, and toy boat gurgles, gloop, 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 and safely moored in dreams all night, boats will float toward morning's light. Now, do you realize you're inside the houseboat? Mama's giving a bath to the little brother, and she's playing boats with him in the suds. And here is the big sister, and she's washing dishes with Daddy, and she's drying them with a towel. What I like about this book is in the back, it has the names of each boat that we saw. And it also tells a little bit about those boats. A trawler is the type of fishing boat. When I go on vacation, I see those boats. They go out really early in the morning before it really gets light. I see their lights on their boats. And I also see little lights along the water to keep them in a channel so they don't get into low uh, areas where the boat would get hung up. Then later in the afternoon, I see them come back. And if you're lucky, you get to go to a place where they clean the fish. They actually clean them, and then they'll put them on ice, and you can ship them back to your house. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, there's that dragon boat again. A boat powered by many paddlers. 
that means they each have a paddle. Often in special races, the dragon boat has its beginnings in China and has the head of a dragon on the front of the boat and the dragon tail on the back of the boat. That's interesting. The end. I liked it, did you? Oh, did you notice my cat on my belly? Yes, that goes along with summer reading program too. Please come. I really miss you. Bye-bye.